Our genome is what makes us all unique. It's our complete genetic code. Every single protein, every cell in our body is programmed by our genes. It took billions of pounds to map the first human genome. Soon, we will map anyone's genome for just a few hundred. This is the holy grail of modern medicine, an era of individual, personalised treatments based on your genetic code. The possibility of not just treatment, but cures for some of our deadliest diseases. But such a leap forward may come at a price. The history of medicine is one of blanket treatment for disease across whole populations. An approach now seen as inefficient and ineffective. The advent of quick, cheap genetic sequencing will mean that the treatment of disease can be targeted to individuals. One of the first examples of personalised medicine is for a cancer called chronic myeloid leukaemia, which develops in people with a specific genetic defect. The drug was developed to treat the results of that genetic defect. Now that was a disease that killed 100% of people who had the disease. And with the introduction of the drug genetically targeted, it went almost immediately to 95% of people with that disease got complete remissions. So that's the kind of result you can get from targeting your therapies, understanding the underpinning mechanism of disease, and changing the whole way we do medicine. Some predict that soon we will all be encouraged to have our genome sequenced. It may be possible one day for doctors to start treating us even before we begin to feel ill. Professor Sir John Bell is one of the most important voices in world genetics. He's also the government's chief advisor on health research. He says even at the earliest stages of life, our propensity for certain conditions can be identified, as can many other things that make us human. It's now possible to take a blood sample from a pregnant mum to reassemble the genome of the fetus, so you can use it for screening for conditions like Down syndrome, could be in theory used for all uh, the genetics of the fetus. You know, will the child have red hair, will they have blue eyes, you know, those sorts of things. So what you're saying is that genetic selection before a child is born may well become more likely. I think that's going to be challenging for society to deal with, undoubtedly. Society will want to govern what it views to be an acceptable um, process of of engineering one's children, shall we say. The ethical dilemmas do not end at genetic selection. How will it affect your behaviour if you know you're likely to get cancer or heart disease? Will we have to legislate to stop employers or insurers from discriminating on that basis? And what about privacy? who will have access to our genome. In the genetic age, we will be logged, monitored and analysed, right down to the very fabric of our DNA. Our genetic strengths and weaknesses mapped out in digital form. But how ready are we to manage that information? How ready are we to have all our body secrets stored on file? The genetic data that we're talking about would be available for people to use to develop new approaches to diagnosis and therapy, which I think is in everybody's interest. The digital age is allowing us to do that. There's an enormous amount of information available that could actually lead to your identification and people knowing things about you that you would prefer them not to know about you as a person. I think the risks of that properly managed are extremely small. The right to digital privacy will become a key battleground as our health service becomes more exact and more data-driven. But it is the promise of targeting resources at a micro level that will lead to a dramatic change in the relationship between patient and doctor, the individual and the state. All that moves this healthcare system 
from a healthcare system which was wholly appropriate for the 1950s and 1960s, but which now has to move to another paradigm. And, and I think individual ownership of their healthcare issues will be driven by the genetic revolution. The potential benefits of the genetic age are vast. So too are the ethical issues that lie ahead. If we can set aside our preconceptions about how our health system should work, we will unlock a new era of personalised medicine.